In the motorcycle world, you know, we are really different than what your normal group would be. My name is Jessica. I'm the creator and founder of Belitas, a global collective of women motorcycle riders. We all share a passion for motorcycles and everybody is so different. Different ages, different bikes, different cultures, different languages. No matter where you travel, you can just show up, say, hey, I'm here, let's hang out, and they'll welcome you with open arms. When I started riding motorcycles, I didn't know anybody else who rode. I just decided to go out and do it. And after a while, I'm like, there has to be women who ride here, right? And so I was like, I'm gonna start a group and then I'll have some girlfriends to ride with because I didn't have anybody. And so I just decided I was gonna host a little meetup. One girl showed up, so it was just the two of us. Every month it grew and grew and it turns out there's a ton of women who ride in Salt Lake. The first time that I rode with 20 women, I didn't know whether to like laugh or cry in my helmet. With this crew of like such strong, powerful, amazing women, and from that it was like community, support, like even though we were all so different, we connected on this level because riding motorcycles was such a huge part of our lives. On Instagram, I had girls reaching out, being like, hey, we want to start the Litas in our city. And like, I didn't really realize why, you know, I'd only intended to start it in Salt Lake. And after realizing how amazing that was for me, I wanted to empower them to be able to create what I had in Salt Lake for them locally. And now here we are six years later and we have over 340 branches around the world, over 16,000 riders. We're in Kuwait, Dubai, New Zealand and Australia. We have over 35 branches of the leaders in different cities in Brazil. No matter where you are, literally in the world, you can hit up any of the Lita's chapters and you have a group of gals that are down to hang out and go for rides. Part of what makes the Lita so special is just the community. Like, we wanted to take this trip out to Joshua Tree and get out of Salt Lake. So we just hit up the local Lita's um, in Los Angeles and they rode out here and met up with us and we just rode around all day. One of the best things about the Lita's is that it was made around the idea that we are inclusive. Whether you're queer, gay, lesbian, trans, like, and you want to come ride with us, then come hang out and like, we will 100% welcome you. It made me realize like there is something out there for me. And when I came into it, it was just like welcomed with open arms. It's life changing. I went to my first Lidas event and I was very nervous, but everyone was very welcoming. It felt like, like I knew them since my childhood and I, I felt very welcome. I have people tell me that it's saved them from suicide. It saved them after divorce. Knowing that you have women that you can go to in any city, in any country, you're not gonna be judged. You have a place to stay probably. More than likely they have a motorcycle for you to ride even if you don't have a bike there. My number one goal is to like inspire women to go out and be themselves and do what they wanna do. Sometimes I feel like you need someone to show you that you can do that, like whatever it is. Like, you can do it, and you don't have to come ride a motorcycle, but hopefully through seeing all of these women do something that does seem hard or different or whatever, it gets you super stoked and makes you feel like you can do something that was maybe out of the question before.